You are listening to the Tough Decisions Network Tip of the Day. With us today on our daily tip is Gino with jakeandgino.com. Welcome, Gino. Hey, Dan. How you doing? Doing great. The question today is, what is the best way to find a good deal? Dan, in the multifamily space, as you probably well know, it's really market driven. It's really about networking with brokers. I love real estate for one reason. It's really relationship based business. You want to work with people you like. So you need to try to build a rapport with brokers in your market. You really need to try to build a business. That's why I had referenced one market when you start investing because every market is unique, which is great about in real estate. It's really market specific. What's happening in Raleigh, North Carolina is not happening in Boise, Idaho. There's different stuff going on, different demographics. So when you get into that market and you select that market, the first thing you need to start doing is networking with brokers. Go on LoopNet, go on CoStar, see who the brokers are in the market. Try to start networking with them. Start try to start calling on them. And you know what Jake and I teach is we teach start building a credibility book. A credibility book is basically your, your business plan, something that you're doing, how you're actually you know acquiring these assets or how you want to acquire these assets. And also, if you want to make it simpler, just build an acquisition criteria sheet. Tell these brokers what you're looking for in a market. You're looking for let's say 20 unit property. Uh, you're looking for affordable housing, or you look we, we look for the C space. You're looking for a certain cash on cash return certain part of the market, you really have to sell the broker as far as the broker's got to sell you. Because there's a lot of brokers out there who say they're in multifamily and they're just not. They're in duplexes and triplexes. So it's your job to qualify the broker, have that conversation. I can share an ebook that I wrote about 45 questions that you need to ask every broker. Um, go in there prepared. Go in there with a plan. Let him know what you're looking for. And you know, I will promise you this. The first couple of deals they send you are not going to work. I can just guarantee you that because they're testing you. You have no rapport yet with them. Just email them back and say, here's my underwriting. This deal doesn't work. When you find something, great. Please send it over. That's probably the best way. I guess the next best way, let's talk about building your team members. Once you've got team members on your property management company, your insurance agent, your title company, these guys are all you know investors and individuals who have are in the markets. So we actually got a deal from our title company. Guy owns, guy owns a title company. He's got assets that he wants to sell. Off market, never going to go to a broker. We never would have gotten it unless we had known that you know he's closing deals for us. So get out there and start networking with your team. Property management companies are great. They're the ones who manage the properties, and they're the ones who you know end up wanting to sell these properties. So there's another avenue for free to find deals. If you'd like to reach out to Gino, visit him at jakeandgino.com. Thank you for joining us for this daily tip. Make sure to subscribe to our channel on iTunes to listen in for more daily tips. Every day, we will be releasing a short three to five minute tip to help you make better decisions. Help us spread the word about the Tough Decisions podcast with your friends. And also take time right now to subscribe and leave a review on iTunes, Facebook, or your favorite platform. You've been listening to the Tough Decisions Show.